This is certainly one of the stories that people are talking about tonight, and it's not the first time that we've seen something like this play out. Yeah, it took three hours to finally tranquilize and corral the massive animal. WJC is live at Coppin State University, where the bull was on the loose. Kelsey Kushner with the wild chase. Kelsey. Hey, Rick. Hey, Vic. And like you said, Rick, it did. It took three hours for officials to tranquilize that bull, get it back in the trailer that it escaped from. Many tonight still shocked at what they saw. Everything and anything happens on North Avenue, I tell you. <laughs> it was a sight to see for neighbors in West Baltimore. Came out on my porch and I told my wife, I said, man, I, I see a bull running up the street. When a bull wandered onto Coppin State University's campus Wednesday afternoon. I couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. I thought he was joking. He said he's that serious. The owner says his farm manager was transporting the one and a half year old 1600 pound purebred Angus bull to a farm in Frederick. It's a big guy. Right? He's pretty big. When around 3 p.m., he somehow escaped its trailer. My farm manager was stopped at a red light. I think maybe on, I'm not sure, up by Mandaman Wall, maybe. And uh, he said, next thing I know, the bull's running alongside the trailer. Uh, he was maybe agitated and hit the door just right and popped it open. Police blocked off a perimeter while officials with the Maryland Zoo worked to tranquilize him. But after three shots, he broke through the perimeter and went for a walk through West Baltimore. Trotting down the street. And it's big. I thought it was a baby, but it's a real big bull and it's just scary. Hours later, the chase came to an end. The bull was heavily sedated and placed back in its trailer by a tow truck, an outcome his owner says he's grateful for. They could have shot that bull two hours ago and been done with it, but they knew for us it was an expensive breeding bull, and I just owe him a debt of gratitude because we could have turned out a lot different today. And the owner says that that bull is going to be okay. He says he'll be back on the farm in Frederick in no time. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Krishner for WJC. All right, Kelsey, thank you. And as Vic mentioned, this isn't the first time we have seen something like this play out. Several bulls have gotten loose on the streets of Baltimore since 2014. The most recent was just four months ago when a pair of steers escaped the slaughterhouse. In 2016, two other bulls broke free from that same slaughterhouse and wandered into a grassy area of an apartment complex. Cars actually formed a makeshift barricade to keep them from wandering off into morning traffic. It took them three hours to corral them. And in 2014, another steer on the run. You may remember this one once again from the same slaughterhouse. This time it was spotted running right in the middle of North Avenue.